Hey everyone, today is day 14 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and we have a basic SQL problem uh, for today. Now, as you can see, we have been given an input table. It's a table about the invoice and there are the serial numbers for different invoice and this is the invoice date. What we need to do is we need to find the missing serial numbers. So in the input table, some of the invoices are missing. We need to write a query to find those missing serial numbers. Now there is an assumption that is given that is we need to consider the serial number with the lowest value to be the first generated invoice and the highest serial number value to be the last generated invoice. Okay. So what this means is you can see the serial number starts with 330115. Okay. That is the least value. So you can assume that this to be the first invoice that was generated and then the last invoice generated was 330125. So ideally what is expected is that there should have been an invoice with every consecutive number based on the serial number okay but you can see that when you start from 115 and go up to 125 I think probably we should have had 11 invoices but we only have let's say five okay so six of them are missing and that is what we need to find through an SQL query okay I hope the problem statement is clearly understood now you can download the data set from my blog or from my discord and you can then try to solve it on your own using any database of your choice okay and then you can share it in discord and help each other now i'll be solving it in postgresql database and i'm going to give you two solutions to this now as you can see i have already created the table and i'm going to give you two solutions as i said the first solution that i'm going to give you is by using an inbuilt uh, function okay now, before I even give you this solution, let us see how can we actually solve this problem. So we know that this is the given data. These are the five different serial numbers that is present and these are the missing ones. But as per the assumption, ideally what was expected to be present in the table was, let's say if I just copy this, that is 330115, right? Let's say if I just add a number here, so I'll just do this plus one and if I just drag it up to 11 okay so maybe 11 now you can see that these are the different serial numbers that was expected but only these are present in the table so somehow in sql if i could come up with a query which could generate this sequence of numbers then i can easily solve this problem so first i need to come up with this sequence of numbers and then i could just do a subtract or when i say subtract kind of like a minus okay if you are aware of minus operator or the except operator i could just take this list of values and subtract it with this list of values or do a minus with this list of values to get not not with this list with the input list of values to get the final output okay so let's first see how can i write a query which is going to give me that sequence of number now we have an inbuilt function in SQL by the name generate series. Okay. And let's say if I do one comma five and if I just run this, you can see that randomly, not randomly, it actually generates five records. If I give, let's say 10, it will then generate 10 records. Instead of one, if I say four, it will then start from four and go up to 10. Okay. So this is what generate series does. Now I can use this function to generate the serial numbers that should have actually been there okay i know as per given the least value is from where the invoices should start and the maximum value is basically the highest serial number that i can consider right so using that logic what i can do here is i can just tell i'll do a from invoice table and for the starting point of this generate series i'll say minimum of the serial number so the minimum Minimum serial number is basically where the invoices should start, right? I'll say minimum serial number. And then here I can just tell max of serial number. Okay. And now if I just run this, you can see that I'm getting 11 records. And if I just pull this out, you can see that it's starting from 330, 115, then 116, and it goes until 125. Okay. So these are all the list of invoice or the serial number that was expected. Okay. Now, I have got this list. Next, I know that all the data that was there in the table is present in the input table. So now next what I can do is I can just say select uh, the serial number from the invoice table. So if I do this, I'll get the five invoice that is present. And then in between these two queries, if I can just add an accept operator. Okay. And if I run now, you can see that I am actually getting my final output. Okay. Now this accept basically 
we have used union operator. You know what union does. It kind of takes the result set from the first query and then merges it with the second query. Except it's kind of like minus. It, it takes all the data set from the first query and then it sees it, it, only, it only returns those records which are not present here. So basically here 11 serial numbers were generated. Here 5 was generated. So these 5 are already present here. So that is why it returned the ones which were the reminders okay so that is why you're getting six here and if i just give a alias for this whatever is required let's say uh, like missing data okay and if i just run this this is my final output okay so this is my solution one and this is very very basic right you just need to know how to use this generate series but it can happen that sometimes when you go to an interview or you have you might be using a database which does not support generate series right in that case how would you solve this and that is why i have my solution number two okay and my solution number two i will be using recursion okay now i know a lot of people might get scared as soon as i say recursion but trust me it's actually very easy okay so in whenever you want to generate uh, or you want to loop through a data so in this case i want to loop through because i want to generate multiple records right whenever you have this kind of requirement you could you can use recursion okay how to use recursion here is very simple. You just say with recursive CTE and as and then here you need to provide the base query. Now my base query, I know that my value should always start from the minimum of this serial number, right? So I can just tell minimum of serial number, okay? And I'm going to call it like, let's say n uh, from the invoice table right and then i need to do the union clause okay so this will basically fetch me one value the first value uh, of that invoice the first serial number then here i need to use the cte so i can say select uh, from cte and here i'm just going to say n plus one as n okay you this n is basically an alias that i have given here it holds the minimum serial number and in the first iteration, it takes the minimum serial number that is 330115, I think. And then in the second iteration, it will do a plus one. So it will return 116, right? And then in the third iteration, it will return 117 and so on and so forth. Finally, it should stop at one place. And that is where I'm going to provide this termination condition saying that uh, it should execute, keep on executing until n is less than the max of the serial number, right? So I can just say select max of serial number from invoice table okay and i think that's all now you can just put select star from cte and if i just run this you can see that i am getting the sequence of 11 serial numbers here starting from the minimum serial number going until the maximum one so this is basically the simplest way of getting these uh, list of values using recursion okay uh, and then i can just copy the same query that i wrote above Okay, so I can just do an accept and then fetch all the serial numbers from invoice. And if I run this, now you can see that I'll get the six missing serial numbers. Okay, so this is basically my solution number two. I hope this is clear. It's a basic problem, but you can expect this kind of problems during interviews and also when you are working, when you have to find some missing values. Okay, I hope you like this problem. I'll see you again tomorrow with another interesting problem. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.